Okay, so this is history in the making. I'm going to show you a tip on removing a background when you're doing digital art. Now, anyone that knows me is would say, I can't believe you're doing that. I never do anything on digital art, but I'm in love with Procreate. So I pick the wrench menu, pick my photo library, and I'm going to pick a drawing that I did that I want to use in a seamless repeat pattern, but I need to get rid of the background. So I need to pick a background that's really different from any of the colors in my drawing. So I'm going to pick red because there's no red in my drawing and you'll see why in a minute. Then I go back to the other menu at the top left and the second one from the right is the select option and make sure it's on automatic. And then you touch what you want removed which is the white part and you can move your pen to the right or left if you need to select more of the background. You go to eraser, make sure it's on airbrush and you just erase the background. Now I need to pick a fatter airbrush brush because this is going to take forever if I don't. So I'm just picking a fatter brush and it shows you everything that got removed, which is the whole background. And it did a really, really good job. It's a great way to remove the background. Now there's another way that you can do it too. So this gives you a really super clean edge. The other way doesn't always give you a super clean edge. And that's why I use this first method pretty much all the time because I need a really clean edge. So the other method is this. You bring up the menu, the dock from the bottom, and then you touch the photo library, and then you bring it up to the right, and then here's the same photos again. I just have to find that same photograph, and I'm going to click on that same photograph, and then you just press your finger on it. See the little white lines? It just copies it and you just slide it over. Isn't that incredible? Now sometimes the edges are blurry on that type of background removal thing. But here, of course, it came out perfectly. So either of those methods works, but I prefer the first method. Depends on what you're using it for. So thanks for watching.